she let two seconds pass and squeezed the trigger again. Tanks, Blake thought, somewhat alarmed. In Nara's name, how did the Corvids get tanks? It was obvious how they got into her sector. They had free reign of the district since the gate power had been sabotaged, but how they even procured them in the first place just raised more questions. Still, these particular tanks wouldn't last very long, and Blake felt a sense of redemption as she shifted position. There had been no hesitation this time. She had simply fallen back on her training and reacted automatically to the fire mission. She stepped to one side, crushing a cargo container in the process. Blake had to see. She needed to see the first shot she'd ever fired in anger. She managed to catch the impacts through Eddie's display. The first volley touched dirt in front of the fleeing tank's direction of travel and blasted columns of shattered concrete and muck straight up, disintegrating containers on both sides of the tracks. The tank slammed on the brakes and rolled into the quagmire of twisted sections of railway and falling debris. The second volley dropped directly onto their heads. All three tanks burst apart as though they had been constructed of dry twigs. Secondary explosions rippled as they split into pieces, and Blake let out a small whoop and stepped back onto the thoroughfare, narrowly avoiding stepping on a bike that sped past. Wait, a bike? Where's my rear protection, first squad? Blake demanded over the net. We're engaging multiple attack bikes now. Closing fast, Kronik reported flatly, 